<laughs> Hi there, ma'am. Hey there. <gasps> you here for the auction? You should wash up. Morning. Good morning. Thank you for your help. Hello. Hey there, partner. Morning. Hey, fellas. I knew you'd be Sam back. You? Got everything you need. Have a look. Now, let me have a look. Taking a shine to that, huh? Well, it's always here if you want to take another look. Thank you. Hey. Really. Mister? How you do? Hey there. All right, stranger. Move already. Who are you looking at, idiot? What's your problem? Complete if it don't got meat. Yeah, nearly done, boy. Hello, sir. Yeah. So here we are. Hey, hey, let's talk about this, Arthur. Arthur, come lend a hand here. Go ahead and call your mom a friend. You might want to quit that. That drunk's got mean friends, believe me. Oh, hell. Wasting my time anyway. I appreciate it, Arthur. And no sense of humor, the fellers around here. How drunk were you? Just normal drunk. Anyway, I should probably hit the breeze. I'll be at camp if you need me. Maybe try keeping your mouth shut next time. Oh, come on. <laughs> You'd all be bored as rocks without me. Let's go, boy. Easy now. It's me, Arthur. Roll out the red carpet. Arthur's back. You're keeping busy? Trying to. Well, don't let me stop you. Sounds good.
turn. Dandy, how are you? Well, they haven't killed me yet. Uh, Who ain't? The boys around here. They act tough. They're good boys, mostly. It's the mostly I'm scared about. Huh? Don't be. You'll be fine. You're one of us now. You missing your tree yet? I feel like chopping it down. We'll all be watching you. How are you? Covered from that business in the hotel? Oh, yeah. So we gonna hit that bank I told you about? We'll see. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Arthur? Uncle? Delightful surprise. Hello, Karen. Hello, Miss Grimshaw. How is your meal? Fine. I'm so glad. You know, while we were stuck oh, on that mountain, I thought long and hard about if we'd have to eat you. Very amusing. I suggested we roasted you alive, but... Mr. Pearson was keener on chopping you up and turning you into stew. Said he couldn't bear to see your face for even one moment longer than he had to. You're quite the amusing companion, aren't you? I like to think so. Hi, Karen. Hey. You look well. Thank you, Arthur. This air must be doing you good. All right, Arthur. Why don't you sit, Arthur? You okay, Arthur? I guess. He seemed kind of worried. Of course I'm worried. What about? Our world's changing. Even I see that now. Our time is pretty much past. They don't want folk like us no more. <laughs> this their rules will be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. Now it's us being hunted. Oh, they ain't stopping. We went and made our choices a long time ago, so... I guess we gotta pay for our sins. Oh, Arthur. What a sad world we live in. Well, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. I'm just... I'm realistic about what's coming. But I... I keep killing animals. Needlessly. I don't know. Oh, that's Arthur. Oh, Arthur. You're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. I ain't that the truth. <sighs> I ain't that the truth. I guess. Real shame about them calendar boys, I reckon. Sure. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. 
You know, I once saw Mac beat up 15 sailors. Okay, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> For sure. That ain't nothing. Everybody knows them Navy boys can't fight. That's why they float. <laughs> That's so. <laughs> sure. That ain't nothing. I once beat up 20. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, I'm gonna miss Mac. He was a good man. Kind of fellow you like to rob alongside. Mm, yeah. You know? Mm. Mm. Heartless son of a bitch. But he had a heart. Mm. That makes any sense. <laughs> I know what you mean. R.I.P. Mac. Mm. How you doing? Everyone is mean. Yep. When it rains, it pours. I'm doing. It looks like you're reading. And I am. So why do you ask? Just making conversation. I'm sorry. I was being catty. I, I don't know why. You're very purdy. I'm sorry. I'm not being forward or nothing. But you are. You're very sweet. Strange and horrible and in O'Driscoll, but sweet. I'm not in O'Driscoll, miss. Okay. Well, whatever you say. <sighs> Found some cash in that O'Driscoll cabin, but not much else. A shotgun. And no coal? Not for now, no. Mr. Pearson! Mr. Pearson! Yes! Think you're losing your touch. How so? Well, it's been at least six months since you killed anyone with your cooking. <laughs> Don't tempt me, you repulsive little maggot. I love you too. All right. Hey, John. Is that how you speak to me? I guess it is. You miserable scotch sack of shit. <sighs> nice tongue you got there, lady. Are you well, Mr. Morgan? Well, I'm alive, Miss Grimshaw. These girls, Mr. Morgan, they're driving me to despair. Why? No gratitude. And no manners. This younger generation, it saddens me. The world is ruined. There he is. Huh? Glad to be off that mountain, Mr. Pearson? Yes, indeed. Lots to do now. Yeah, for all of us. How are you holding up? Not very well. Well, I'm sorry. It will get better eventually. Arthur! Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? 
don't be like that. I, you know, just a, just a few bucks. And I'm short. Get lost. Well, well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Where the boys and girls on the pier head do flock. Hurrah, me boys. We're bound to go. They give three loud cheers while the tears downward flow. Goodbye, fare well. Goodbye, fare well. Bound away in the dreadnought to westward we'll go. Hurrah, me boys. We're bound to go. <sighs> ah, I like this one. Nah, just not the same on dry land. Evening. Miss Jackson? Tilly Jackson, Tilly Jackson. Why are you being strange? <laughs> You're one of the good ones. Sure, Arthur. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. Room by the fire here, Mr. Morgan. Hey, Pearson. Did good in town, finding out about that train. Thank you. It was fun. Well, I wouldn't say it was all fun. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sure thing. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. Goes without saying. Oh, what am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I, I won't lie to you. Oh, Miss Roberts. I know. Where, where am I gonna go? Stay here with us. <laughs> Folk, they ain't so bad. It's nasty out there on your own. I know. You'll be safe here. <laughs> At least for now. Till you're back on your feet properly. 
Thank you. Of course. Is there somewhere we can take her? I don't think she has anyone. Uh, poor woman. You can stay with us as long as you want. Thank you. It's the least we can do. Mr. Morgan, can I ask you a favor? If, if it's convenient, I mean. Sure. If you're out on your adventures and you see any herbs for seasoning, would you mind grabbing them for me? Seasoning? Yes. Don't tell Mr. Pearson. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Could use a slug of whiskey in this. Maybe after lunch, hey? Ladies. Hello. Nice fire here, Arthur. Always good to see you. Okay, boy. Let's go. Good job, boy. <laughs> good morning, Arthur. Morning, dear. Let's go, boy. Okay, there. Well, that's exactly what I've been looking for. Hey there, mister. Why, well, hey there. Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. Nature's gift to us all. Hmm. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. Well, shit. Thanks, I guess.
Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, uh, good I'll for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh no. No, no, no. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. Just <coughs> sign. But I have this. It's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's, it's Warsaw, yes. I have your things. Okay? I have anything in here or out there? Yes. What you got behind there? So, uh, surprise, I mean, you know, me. Move aside. There'll be something somewhere. To suck on you, must not fight you. No matter kind of test. You must have come here with something. Longer I look, the madder I get. Not good yet. Don't even speak English. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. I need, I must eat, Prosho. Okay, that should about cover things. Okay, boy. Stage company, Mister Christ! Open up on here! <laughs> Me. 
mister. I don't hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You done me a service. Hey, look. The stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway. If you can get in that lockbox, you can take what you want from it. But ain't stealing if it's already stolen. Got that right. Word of advice? You see anyone I could be in O'Driscoll? Head the other way. Arthur, you know, I think we're gonna be okay. Sure, but what next? All that money lost in Blackwater. We have licked our wounds long enough. We do what we do. We make more money, and before they even realize that we're here, we're gonna be gone again. And after that? I ain't losing to these... these fools, Arthur. You know me better than that. We get to work here. We make money, and then we head back out west to freedom. Oh, I ain't wavering, son. But you can. Well, I could. If I chose to. I just not to. <laughs> Maybe one of us will teach you. <laughs> hey there. Hey. So, you ain't bored of this place yet? I guess not. All things considered, it ain't that bad. All right, Arthur. I just wanted to say, I'm sorry about your husband, your home. He was worth a hundred of you thieves and murderers. I have no doubt.
You're a big help today. Don't I know it? Thank you, Arthur. Mr. Arthur. I told Dutch, I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs' boys riding around. Down here? What they want? I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Kieran. Mm-hmm. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Thank you, Mr. Morgan, for sparing me like that. I'll work hard. I am not a bad fella. You'll soon warm to me. Just see that I do. Oh, you will. And boy, hmm? thank you for saving my life. Well, yeah, of course. Come on, boy. What's with the holler? Oh, I got bit. Oh, God. Oh, oh, I need medicine or a siphon. Oh, 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 oh.
come on. I'm going to die if you don't help me. Uh, uh. <sighs> All right. All right. Oh. Quit moaning. Oh, Christ. Oh, oh God. <sighs> Let's keep this between us. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Not that right. I do. Oh. Oh. Now, I, I gotta get out of here. Oh. 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 Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? Come on, boy. Swanson, you hear me? Howdy there. How are you? Swanson, you in here? Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat. Friend, I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but seeing I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. How's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. And life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a decent fella going through a bad time. 
Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game, after all, mister. Here we go, then. I'll happily take all that off your hands. Huh. Have a look at these. This ain't what you call finishing strong. Not looking good. Hey! For Christ's sakes, come to me. Damn it. That's the way it goes. Will you button it? <laughs> Gentlemen. This is getting too rich for me. Sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, <laughs> smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. <laughs> your hands off him. What did you just say to me? I didn't say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. You bastard! Come on. Oh my god, he killed him! I'm gonna get the law on you! Hey you! Get back here! You better stop right there! Stay away from me! <clears throat> Don't run from me! I said stop, damn it! Yep. Okay. Okay. I, I won't Please, tell us don't hurt me. I promise. Does that mean yes? Good. Get the hell out of here. It's the last thing I needed. Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! You crazy? Come on, my friend! It's just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. Huh? You done with your foot? It appears to like this place. It wants to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Get it! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> You. What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that! There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> oh. 
Let's get you home. Home? Yeah. That's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But. Slow up now. How are you? Never been better. That's what I like to hear. Hi, Uncle. How did I miss all the fun? <laughs> when he'd show up. John, you're too easy on him, Arthur. <laughs> you better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> what happened? Just usual. Poor <coughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. <sighs> so, we found the O'Driscoll's hideout, but no sign of comb. Well, so long as we're hitting them before they hit us. Oh, and that Karen? He's all right now. Not the best of food, but pretty nice nonetheless. Garter. Arthur.
Hey, Tilly. Hi, Arthur. Doing a good job there. Thank you, Arthur. Hey, Pearson. Hello. Need any supplies? Always. How are you? you can never have too much. Everyone's favorite uncle. Hello. What you got going on? Nothing much. you? All well? Very well. Glad to hear it. 